If you're a new player or just someone who hasn't played Destiny 2 in a while, this guide is aimed for you. For both players, we get it, we've all been there before. Destiny is a huge game that's been around for 9 years now, it can be super overwhelming at first. I was once an OG Destiny 1 player, got into 2, played Forsaken, then left the game only coming back for Witch Queen, and now this new Lightfall update. In this video, I'm going to be giving you tips that will help make your experience easier diving into the game, whether it's your first time or if you're just now coming back. Before I dive in, like I said, if you're new or coming back to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss another video. I started this channel to share my passion for gaming with all of you, including reviews and general gaming content. I appreciate all the support we've got so far. My first piece of advice to brand new players would be choosing a main. Don't ever think this. Don't watch tons of content, figure out a build, and waste time just to realize that the character doesn't really suit your playstyle. Each build can provide a ton of DPS depending on the build, gear, and mods. You're really just choosing a class that you think works well with you. I've played all three classes, and there's a cool trick to getting them all up to a high light level with just a little bit of grinding required. What you're going to want to do is choose one class, get it as high as you can, switch over your guns to the other class using the vault, and then go ahead and buy exotic armor on your main and transfer that to those other characters, boosting them from let's say 1600 light to 1800 easily. When it comes to picking a main, most Destiny 2 players have one, but they'll switch around here and there. It's just a lot of fun to experience the other classes, especially if you get bored of your main. I wouldn't spend too much time stressing over your first class. Hunters are basically the squishy DPS type. You'll be fast, you'll have access to some cool abilities like a void tether for crowd control, a golden gun for damage, and even a crazy high damage electric arc attack. Right now, besides strand for lightfall owners, void hunter are not only extremely fun, but also really powerful, helping you put out massive amounts of damage, constant invisibility to survive, and crowd control with the vortex grenade. I switched over to the Hunter just for the cape, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I liked how it looked, and I've been having just a ton of fun with this whole in-your-face playstyle the Hunter has. With the Titan, you'll be the tank of the team, but you're still able to dish out a ton of damage. I played Titan back during Forsaken, and I haven't played it since, so I'm not really familiar with the 3.0 subclass, but I do know that the class has just gotten better with how good those 3.0 subclasses are. Titans have a shoulder charge ability that can basically one-shot in PvP, they take a ton of damage, and they spit back out just as much back. A friend of mine is actually a Titan main, and he's been rocking the Arc Titan. And he's basically just one-punching everything. The build looks like a ton of fun, and it really made me want to try out the new Titan 3.0 class next. Titans are basically the Giga Chads of Destiny 2, so if you want to tank and punch shit, this one might be for you. I played Warlock during the Witch Queen, and I had a blast. Warlock is a really good class for both teams and solo. The class has a well that basically increases damage while you're in it, and it can keep you alive. It's super powerful, and it's really good for solo. Void Warlock has these awesome little purple blobs that basically go attack enemies for you. You've got Dawnblade, which is a crazy powerful sword that's spitting out fire. And the Strand Warlock is supposedly ridiculously overpowered, but that one does involve buying Lightfall. Warlocks are for people that want to dive into the whole space magic aspect of Destiny 2. Like I said, I had a lot of fun during Witch Queen running a Warlock, and I really just switched off because of that Hunter cape just looking so badass. My next tip is to really just enjoy the game and don't stress out about gear at first. It's really scary when you dismantle something and you hope you didn't make a huge mistake, but early on, weapons and armor are basically all trash until you get the legendary versions. Your goal in the beginning is to really play whatever campaign missions that you have available, explore those lost sectors, hit the strikes, and really stay away from PvP for a bit in the beginning. It can be really rough if you don't have the right weapons. You also won't need to equip your strongest gear. As long as it's in your inventory, you're going to be getting higher and higher gear. So if you find a gun that's 1650, for example, but it's not as good as your 1648 gun, leave it in your inventory and you'll basically be getting a new gun that's higher than 1650 eventually. Drops are random, and they're coming from activities and killing enemies at random. You're only guaranteed drops that are higher than your light level when you complete weeklies, highlighted in gold. As a new player, I wouldn't really worry about that until you're at least done with the campaign missions that you've got. Weeklies are great though because you're eventually going to hit a wall, and the powerful and pinnacle gear that they reward you with is guaranteed higher than your current light. Once you basically start getting legendary drops all the time, you're going to want to focus on a few things before you dismantle the weapons and gear. First, I wanted to talk weapons. Weapons are going to come with random rolls, with some being better than others. Always try out the weapon first, see if you like it. 
Personally, I do that and I run the weapon on a site called light.gg. This site has something called a roll appraiser that will basically check your inventory and it will give you a score based on what mods are on there. They do base this score off popularity though, not if it's overpowered or not. I wouldn't exclusively use this though because I've had B rolls that are just really great for my playstyle and feel great versus some of the A and S rolls. On this site, a really cool perk is being able to lock your weapons and make sure you don't accidentally dismantle them, which is a huge bonus. You have no idea how many times I've actually dismantled a weapon that I use on accident. Because I don't know what guns are great, for me light.gg is a godsend. It even displays what vendors are carrying including Xur. I can't stress how much I use light.gg and I really recommend it to new players until they're at least comfortable with some of the gun rolls and figure out what works for them and what doesn't. When it comes to your armor, you're going to want to pay attention to the bottom number that totals your stats. Ideally, you want high numbers on this. You also want numbers that suit your build. So eventually you're going to get to a point where you're going to dismantle all of the low armor. Me for example, anything that's under 60, I'm dismantling. I'm going to talk about builds though a little later, but the number here basically increases all of your stats, like your super generation, your damage resistance, grenade cooldown, even melee cooldown. You can hover over it if you forget, I know it's a lot to keep track of. And then you can also upgrade your ghost with these mods and have it focus on a specific stat which is a huge benefit if you're going for something like high resilience in my case. What you're normally going to want to do is total up these stats to get 100 in some categories. Even 100 in a couple categories or three is great. You could do this by equipping mods to your gear after you go ahead and upgrade the gear. Just as a heads up, I wouldn't upgrade your gear often unless you have a ton of legendary shards. Early on you're going to be getting rid of a lot of armor and guns constantly. But once you find a gun or an armor roll that's high ranked, it's got a good roll, you're going to want to upgrade that one until you get something better. Speaking of upgrades, there's something called infusing. And that's taking a higher light gun that you just don't like or armor piece and you basically infuse its light level into the gear that you do like. You're going to want to do this for let's say your armor that you really like or your guns that you really like. Infusing does cost upgrade modules which are kind of hard to get. I mean, you do get a lot with the battle pass. And if you're playing the campaign on Legendary, for example, you get a ton. I personally recommend Lightfall on Legendary. It really just felt a lot better to me than the normal mode. You're going to get a lot more rewards. You're going to get a exotic at the end of it. It makes it just a lot more worth it. I soloed most of it. I know if you add more players to it, it makes it considerably harder. Uh, but I did either solo and I did a couple missions with a friend. If it is too hard, though, you could still play it on normal. You'll be getting those upgrade modules when you complete... Uh, missions and you get these chests throughout the mission. What you're going to want to do though is you're going to want to level up higher and eventually come back to Legendary because Legendary comes with one of the brand new exotics once you finish the Lightfall campaign. For me that's really worth it because the only other way to get them are through Legendary Lost Sectors and you're going to have to grind those. The difficulty on those Legendary Lost Sectors is just ridiculous right now and the community is basically up in arms over it. Uh, I think Bungie's going to be adjusting it soon because the difficulty versus the whole reward grind is just a problem. My next tip is figuring out a build. Builds for me are what make Destiny 2 just so much fun. Once you're getting consistent legendaries, you should be planning out a build for your character. What helped me as a new player was YouTube, of course. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Plunder the Booty, who is a Destiny 2 build god. I love this guy's channel, and honestly wouldn't be into Destiny 2 as much if it really wasn't for the builds that he's making. I highly recommend you check out his build videos and you work towards whichever build that you like the most. You can also save these builds as loadouts now, making it a lot more easier to switch between them. And mods are no longer a pain in the ass to get. They basically revamp these, they put everyone on the same playing field. You're not going to have to worry about missing out on a mod through Ada 1 that you need. My last and final tip is seriously just enjoy yourself and don't burn yourself out on this game. There's so much content, there's so many expansions, go through your quests, complete them, get the gear that you like and guns. I personally don't really grind myself to a pulp when it comes to this game. I'm not chasing high level armor constantly or hitting lost sectors consistently trying to get an exotic. It's just not worth my time. I like to get on, I like to have fun. You can also find a group online for raids if you don't have a group of friends to play with. I know Bungie's going to be adding that soon, it got delayed. Most players are friendly if you just let them know up front. I mean, let them know that you're brand new to the raid, they'll teach you. If they're not friendly, just leave. It's really not worth your time. Personally, I recommend doing that for raids because raids to me are just the coolest part of Destiny 2 and it really sucks when I go through some comments and I just see a lot of people that are just like, hey, I bought this game, I've never done a raid. 
I really think that no player should miss these. And I don't think you should be intimidated. You gotta just let people know up front that you're new. And seriously, most will just teach you the raid. I've actually been able to get through a lot by just coming in going, hey, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And just being walked through these raids. It's, it's a blast when you get it. And eventually you'll be an expert. So when it comes to Destiny 2, I know in the beginning it really feels overwhelming. But once you get the hang of things, the game is great. The gunplay is amazing. And you're going to have a good time playing it. Just keep these things in mind in the beginning. Don't burn yourself out. Hit those weeklies as you can. Increase your light level. Experiment with PvP and PvE. If you like strikes, stick to strikes. Stick to what you like. And my advice is to just enjoy the game. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks.